Hello and welcome back. You have to excuse the shaky camera action because I'm just holding the camera over the level at the moment so you can see the graduations on a taper turn attachment. Also, you can get an idea of the mechanism how it works. So inside there is a thread. And when you turn this thumb screw here, excuse me, that controls the desired taper you want. It's quite clever, really. The whole thing does clamp on. That side is, uh, as you can see, is tapered per inch per foot. But on the op opposite side, excuse me, is tapered per degrees. And that's one of the clamping blocks. So you get an idea of what's going on. It's quite clever, really. It's a nice piece of kit. I'm going to set it up now for one and a half degrees. That's what I need for a taper on some rocket tool that I'm making. Thank you. Great. I've got a blank rocket spindle ready to go. I've just took most of the meat out of it, but I'm not forming a taper. I'm working to these dimensions here. If you can see them that way well. But essentially it's a 1.52 degree taper. 9mm at the bottom, 3mm at the top, roughly. And I've set the taper turner up to 1.52 degrees. And as I advance the carriage now, you'll get an idea of the thing in action. As you go along, the gap will get bigger from the tip to the workpiece. There you go. And that will be your 6mm difference. So let's give that a go. I'm essentially just going to rough it out first, just keep nibbling at it to get the right shape. Semi successful. I managed to get the shape of the spindle, but unfortunately, because aluminium is quite soft and the spindle is quite thin, it bent a little bit as I was turning against the tool tip and it's created this gnarly, scrapey effect. So, what I need to do is treat myself to a travelling steady which rides along the back of the spindle as the tool tip's on the other side and it supports it and stops it bending. Unfortunately, they're not the easiest things to get hold of as this lathe was made in about 1965 but I'll track one down on eBay and get back to you. Thanks for viewing.